What's up, YouTube? It's Fitzbro, and this is my Dark Age Rush build order for the Ottoman Civilization and Age of Empires 4. It hits hard and heavy, nice and fast, and particularly good against those pesky Malians. You can get over there with your spearmen in the Dark Age, start harassing their houses and their gold pit. It also works well against Abbasid villagers early on or any other Civ that might be vulnerable to an early attack. At the very least, you're trying to force your enemy to respond with some type of military pressure, which will slow down when the heck they might be doing. Now, this was inspired by a build I saw from the Mista, and he is a qualified Red Bull Wolo player, professional Age of Empires 4 player, and I refined it and got it down to a nice, easy build order for you. So I hope you like this aggressive style of playing the Ottomans. Now, before you start this video, make sure you pick up the build order graphic that I have designed for you. It is in the description down below in the Discord. I will show it somewhere here on the screen, but it'll help you follow along as you go. Put it on another monitor, print it off, put it on your phone, whatever it's going to be read through it first i try to generalize things and get you moving in the right direction of course it's hard to memorize every single step so basically get the idea of what this build is and then make it your own okay let's dive into this so the very first thing you have to memorize select all your villagers you're going to go to stone pick one of those villagers they're going to go to a straggler tree you're very used to starting the game and going to sheep it's muscle memory you'll accidentally do it trust me Think about it a few times, say it before you start. You're gonna be rushing the Malians. Your goal is to do one trip to the stone, come back, drop that military school as fast as possible so that you could get in their base, get in their gold mine, start harassing them, hopefully for some pressure, they'll start building something or you'll throw off their build order because they don't expect the Ottomans to rush. Let's get into this. Select all my villagers and we're gonna go to the stone. One villager will go to the wood. Now, sometimes it's closer than other. This time, it's quite far away. So, it's fine. You'll see what it looks like even in this scenario. These sheep will go right here in the town center. Make sure you set that rally point to that first sheep. Otherwise, they'll poke out. They'll pop out on the wrong side of the town center. Um, now, you want to walk the first sheep you find back. Otherwise, you'll run out. So, even that means doing like a loop around your town center, make sure you get that first sheep back in there eventually. Okay. New villagers all going to the food just like normal. Okay, here they come back. I'm going to shift click them. They're going to go there. And they're going to go to the tree. I'm going to drop a military academy as fast as possible. Boom. Military academy. Then he goes to sheep. And then one of these villagers is also going to go to sheep. Okay, so you got four on wood. The rest is sheep. And my rule is basically you build the building, you put them on sheep. You build the building, put them on sheep. So these guys will go to sheep. I'll build a house. It will go to sheep. And then with your scout, you want to make sure you find the enemy gold line. Okay, I'm going to build my house. And then he's going to go to sheep. Shocker. <laughs> Remember that. You build, then you go to sheep. Okay, and I'm going to rally this out somewhere across the map. And my goal is to go find his gold line. Okay. You can pop through the town center if you want to get really fancy, but it's a little difficult. I get it. Okay, he's going to sheep. Now, you'll, your woodvilles will do one more trip, and you'll select one of them to go to gold. Because you want seven on food. Now our new villas are going to the gold, right? A little more of like a, the standard opening, seven food, and then the gold. Okay, there we go. He did that trip. Now he's good to go, right? Because we're going to have, look at that. We got just the wood we need. And these two, they're going to keep chopping the straggler trees. Leave them be. You don't need to worry about your wood veils. Just let them do their thing. Now I want to find the gold. Okay, seven food, three to gold. And then I'm going to go back to food again. Well, there's that Malian. There he is. Let's go find his gold pit. We're going to go harass. Now, sometimes it's in front of the town center, sometimes it's behind it. Depends how lucky you are, but it just depends. And of course, we're playing the AI, so what is he not doing? He's not building houses by his uh, his gold. Typically he would, but that's okay. This is kind of what it's like playing as Abbasid too. Okay, we got three on gold. New villas are going to go to sheep. And I'm going to just keep scouting, come on back, drop off some more sheep here. In these villas, you can, uh, once you have enough, uh, you can go to build a lumber camp. And I'm going to hop through my Tiffin Hound Center because I'm fancy. Lumber camp, and then they'll do a house. Okay. So we'll put up to 10 villagers on food now. Now look how fast I got the spearmen out. That was like, what, two two minutes and like 20 seconds. or It was before that. It was, it was under two minutes and 20 seconds. That is a great time. I'm going to be in his base before three minutes harassing his villagers. Okay, I'm about to have 10 on... Look at that. <laughs> they forgot to build it. I must have misclicked it. Okay, and now, uh, if it's behind here, what you want to do is grab this building and shift click to click around to make sure you don't get hit by the town center. So here, we find... Look at those beautiful new waypoints. They really help. Okay, we got 10 on sheep. Now, your new villas, they can go to 
wood. Okay, we're gonna start thinking about our macro for a second town center. 400 wood, 300 stone. Now, I have enough gold here to age up, so I'm gonna pull off and go to the berries. You can actually stop that right about two minutes. And as soon as I hear that sound mark, that attack marker, I pull off typically, because usually that's when you get draw drawn into a town center. And look at this. What'll happen is before these guys reach 10, 10 food, I will have enough to drop my, uh, my landmark. There we go. Perfect. And I go with the berry landmark right by the berries, and then I pull one food vill to go help. Ah, he went in the town center. Okay, now you want to leave four villagers on food, the rest can go to wood. You want seven on wood, and then the rest on stone. I'm actually going to build a house before we do that. Usually I get this, that house built uh, before, but it'll be fine. New villes, they're just going to go to stone. Okay, so we've got five on food. I'm gonna pull one more off to go to uh, to the stone there. I'm gonna jump to the town center. I usually do four villager, villagers on food uh, while I'm aging, and then uh, once I hit like the next age, I'll throw a fifth one on there. Because you wanna start having food, think about two town centers or archers or whatever it might be. Okay, so we're building this. We're getting our stone. And like I said, the stone is kind of further away than your typical stone mine. And I'm over here. I'm harassing. I'm poking. I'm running around here poking his berry bills. Hopefully, he's made a tower or a barracks or something that's just going to slow him down or mess up his builder. He's going to be confused. Ottomans, they don't rush. What are you doing in my base? And hopefully he's thinking, what, is a tower coming? Like, what? what's next? Even doing this, like, I'm getting idle time. That was a, what? That was a free spearman. Like, well, that was worth it. Whatever. I lost spearmen. Not a big deal. Usually you can keep them alive if you micro them. Okay. And then after this spearman, we'll be going to Spahi. Okay. So we're just using our free units to harass, essentially, which is nice. Putting pressure on your opponent is just going to hopefully mess up what they're doing. Now, as soon as we hit the next age, these four vills, I'm going to pull them over to stone. I'll hop to the town center because I'm fancy. And then these ones will go to the berries that are be spawning here. Okay. And I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to head on over to the stone. I'll hop to the town center. There we go. Ten on stone. That should be plenty. I'm going to put one more villager uh, on the sheep. So I have five on the sheep here. Okay. We're doing good. We're harassing. Let's switch this over to Sapahi. So after that, Spearman is made. Okay. And I have a cat on my desk. Learn the build order. Boo! You want to learn how to play Ottomans? Okay, so now look at this. We're well on our way. Now, when you're counting your stone, you're used to counting to 900. Well, remember, you already gathered 50, so you need to go to 850 is the ideal number. I heard that sound, so I'm going to back up. And there we go. We should have the stone we need. Boom. And I'm going to drop it right here. Now, typically, sometimes there's gold nearby. In this case, there's, like, there's berries nearby. This is a rather bare kind of place, but I like to drop it right on stone because I want to keep on gathering stone after this. Okay, this is enough on, on food. I'm going to go back to wood now. I'm actually going to pull one of these off of food. That's too many on food. I'm trying to get that town center down. In this point in the game, really, you can adjust. You're going to end up moving units. For, you might have too much on wood or too much on stone. You end up with an extra on food. Just adjust it. Try to keep it, you know, four or five on food to keep your villagers incoming. Uh, and then you're, you're macroing for your next town center. There we go. Your next town center up. We got two villagers in queue. We are golden. I'll get inside there and kill that scout. Haha. -ha. Take that, you scout. Beautiful. Okay, and I'm over there harassing my Sabahi. You're going to be hopping out soon. And now, Vizier points. You can either do the speedy stuff if you want to do the drummers. Uh, gives a nice speed boost. Or I typically go for the Antillian Hills just because I like to do an eco boom. Have plenty of food and base. We'll go with that. But it's really up to you. Um, there we go. Now that we have enough stone, I'm going to drop a second uh, second military school and an archery range. I typically drop down two military buildings before my third town center. And this is where you're going to scout, kind of feel, what is your opponent doing? If they're coming super aggro, you might want to be going, uh, you know, just full up on a feudal uh, hold versus going for a third town center. You don't want to get caught off guard. Okay. Now, uh, we should be fine here. I've got some spearmen. I'm going to kind of kind of pull my units back. As now, I just kind of want to just turtle up. We've harassed. We've kind of done our job. And we're saving up for our next town center. Now, I'm not going to walk these guys all the way over the wood. You certainly could do that. Um, but we got berries nearby, so I'll probably just go for that. And we'll go for these berries, actually. Because we've got the stone we need. Very nice. And let's go ahead and uh, we almost have what we need for our uh, our third town center. You could do blacksmith if that's where you want to go. If you don't want to go for the third town center, if you pulled off stone earlier, you can see we almost have what we need for our uh, third town center. And I'll probably drop that right here on the gold. There we go. We just about have that. 
Very nice. We got it. Okay. I'm going to pull these guys uh, off of these food. I'm going to take them over here to the stone. And again, this is just really what, something you're going to feel out as you go. And look. We got three TC boon. You can do whatever you want. Keep getting some stone. You can throw down some towers and put some arrow slits on it with your extra stone. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll make sure you don't get housed. So I'm going to build a, a, a beautiful little house here. I'll build it on the berry bushes. There we go. Oh, we're getting raided. Okay. Well, good thing I got free units at home to protect me. I haven't got these going on. Look, we're fine. Now, these are like kind of like night units, right? Um, now I'm talking, not paying a whole lot of attention, but we could have avoided, you know, this little raid that happened here. And it, whatever. I've got three town centers. Villagers, they're expendable. Okay, got my three town centers. You can either throw down towers, you can throw down more military buildings. Uh, the Mista, when he does this, likes to put down, I saw, like, two archer ranges or two stables. Uh, put, now, this is a good time now to transition your blacksmith. I mean, if this was on a wood line, you'd be in really good shape here to put down your blacksmith and stuff. We kind of got unlucky as far as uh, what we had to do here. But that's basically the build. Uh, you can go to the Castle Age next. I like to go up with the Istanbul Imperial Palace because that gives you a Vizier point limit of plus two, which means you can get more of these Vizier points. Um, and you can also, uh, with that landmark, it is going to make it so your buildings all generate additional uh, experience. So you want to build it somewhere near here. Okay, so from this point, I would be producing some military, going to attack my opponent, uh, holding, making sure I've got things secure, or turtling up. It's good. I'm fine with him coming towards me because I've seen around three TCs. I've got my military booming. You know, I'm throwing down archer ranges and blacksmiths, and you've got a, a superior production speed. Um, and really, you can do what you want. The idea of this is essentially early pressure, drush, try to get your opponent to do something. If there's Malians, I'm telling you, they always build houses on the outside of this. You sit there and burn them down. I mean, at this point in the, the game, I have my Spahi running around, burning down those houses. They have less HP too, right? Because they're cheaper and half the... Uh, uh, half the cost so those are things to consider and you can sit there with archers and spearmen or archers and sapahi i like archer and spahi a lot of time maybe even throw a, a drummer in there but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this build order if you did make sure you leave me a comment below make sure you hit that subscribe button it really helps me out the comments it all helps me with the algorithm and i hope to catch you for a live game over on twitch.tv slash fitzbro and happy ottoman get those great bombards get to the imperial age and i hope you enjoy this